Mike, you're live. All right, looks like we're live. This is Dave from over at DIY Cave in Bend. Uh, this is our first live YouTube uh, stream. Uh, so we're just testing it out. We're just uh, now getting our computer up and running because we, we just went through three computers to get this to go. So hopefully this is working all right. Um, not too sure about this microphone either. So we're going to uh, test that out on this video and um, uh, see how this goes. So tonight we're going to be uh, talking about uh, routers. Uh, by the way, this is our this is a maker member event. We do one event every month for uh, DIY Cave members. That's included with the membership. And uh, this one, of course, other people will be able to see. Um, uh, but if you are interested in in learning about different things uh, that happen in the cave and in the maker community. Um, uh, we do offer that maker event every month. Um, so tonight we'll talk about some routers. We've got a couple of different kinds of routers uh, and router bits. And um, every, I do teach the router class at DIY Cave and uh, we uh, have taught it quite a few times. And we just kind of go through uh, uh, how to set up a router uh, different ways to use it, different things that you can use it for, and um, and a little bit of safety. Uh, so to start out with, uh, we're that there are if you don't if you're new to woodworking and you don't know anything about routers, or even if you're if, you, if you've been woodworking but haven't used a router, there are lots of different things that you can do with them. Uh, obviously, the the main purpose of it would be to put a cool shape on the edge of a board. Uh, so that and that could be done to do different things, whether it's to take a square edge and make it into a rounded edge or uh, some other shape. It could be a cove or, or just any other shape that you could think of. Uh, router bits come in tons and tons of different shapes. Uh, so that's a very basic use of the router. Um, other things that you can use a router for are to uh, you could use it for doing joinery and uh, as well as uh, template work uh, to uh, to get exact, to get parts that are exactly the same shape, you can use a router with a special bit and uh, make lots of parts that are the same shape. Um, uh, you could also do, um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, doing joinery. Uh, there are lots of different things that you can, different joints that you can make using routers, such as uh, dovetails or tenons. Uh, mortise, you can also make mortise, mortise and tenon joints, and as well as you can use specialty bits to make raised panel doors. Um, you could make tongue and groove flooring if you wanted to. Uh, those, are, those are just some of the uses of the router. Um, this, as we go through, we're going to look at handheld routers, different couple of different kinds of them, and also take a look at the router table and how that gets set up and work. So. To start off with, if you can see the table here, we've got several different routers. I am going to move a little bit closer during some of this uh, so that you can see things. So I'm just walk around here so that you can see some things and uh, so that I can get a little closer up. Uh, to start off with, we're just going to go we'll take a look at a couple of different kinds of routers. This is a very basic, oops, sorry. This is a very basic uh, fixed base router. It's called a fixed base router because you set the base into one location and that's where it stays while you're doing the operation. Um, so most people, when they start out, will get something like this. Uh, this is a, this one is actually, believe it or not, about 20 plus years old, maybe 23 years old. So if you buy a decent router, they do last a long time. Um, uh, and so for a fixed base router, the base is typically removable. You can take it off and on to change your bit and then um, move the base up and down. It's, it adjusts up and down so that you can set the depth of your cut and uh, that'll set the location of your bit when you're using it. So that's a very basic router. And we're, we're gonna actually use this router and I'll take it apart, show you how to put the, uh, how to put the bits, put, put bits in and take them back out. And, um, this is another very common 
uh, base for a router. This is called a plunge base. And this router actually, th this mo router motor actually can come out of here and go into a fixed base. So this is a really good option as well. It gives you a lot of versatility. Uh, and the way that this uh, router plunges is it's got a little locking knob here. Set it, set it on your piece and then plunge it into the piece and lock, lock it in place. Um, and this route, so this router motor that's in here, I just mentioned, can fit in this base and a fixed base. And we also take this motor and put it into a router cable and, uh, and mount it upside down. So, very, very versatile tool um, and a good one to have. Uh, the plunge router. Wondering why you would need that so that you can start your cut in the center of the board um, without, without having to tilt the router in or try to put it in manually by hand. So, in, in work, uh, that handle that I showed you right there is, is just pulled to the side, so the base is plunged down, and then the handle locked in place. And now it's going to stay in that position. Uh, it does have lots of settings on it. Or setting the height uh, uh, so that you know exactly where the height is going. There are different controls right here. I've got a couple of different posts and a rod that moves up and down. And that will set my location so that I know where I'm plunging to. Oops. There we go. <laughs> that will set the location so that I know where I'm plunging to and then lock it in place and it will stay there. This little guy here is commonly referred to as a trim router. Um, it's handheld. It's much smaller than the others. Very lightweight. You, you can put a multitude of shapes into it as well. Uh, but it's, it's, at least I know it as a, a trim router because it's commonly used for just trimming the edge of laminate when you're um, putting laminate on. And uh, I like to use it a lot with smaller bits for putting a real quick edge onto a uh, uh, just rounding over an edge very easily so that I don't have very sharp corners on pieces that I've made. Um, and it can be used for a lot of things too. This is a fixed base. This base can come off, but it's, it's, it typically stays on when you're changing the blades and you just put a wrench in to find the collar right there. So on this, on this plunge router, I don't actually have it locked in place, not because I'm going to take this apart um, to put a bit in it. So, so the way that this, this convertible one works is you actually slide it down in and there's, there's a little allen key to hold it in place. And then you loosen that up and 